right, let's see here. What can we mess up or rearrange today? Hmm. Hey, here, these containers look good, but they don't look good in the kitchen. Hmm, let me see. Let's see. Which one do I want? This is a good one. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. Oh, yeah, this will look great in the entertainment center. Let me check it out here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no. She sees me. Oh, gosh. Gotta go. Gotta go. Anything else I need? No, this would do. Let's get out of here. Hey King Crew, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this amazing video with you today. So we're gonna kick things off with a visit to the container store. Guys, I have got to find some kitchen systems that work that my kids cannot beat. Um, on my way to the container store, I ran into Crate and Barrel. It was right beside it, and I just love all of the kitchen accessories they had. They were absolutely beautiful. Now, I didn't get anything out of Crate and Barrel because I had to stay on task, and the task was to get some systems from the container store. So as I entered into the container store, I saw so many different acrylic options, which I grabbed, and I was on my way. I didn't get much from the container store. Um, let's see, I did grab this because I'm gonna need this to organize the kids' food pens. And then I grabbed these items because I'm actually doing my coffee station and I wanted to put these in the drawer for um, the back stock for coffee stuff. So I did grab these and that is literally all I got from the container store i told myself i wasn't gonna go crazy that i was just gonna get um focus on one area at a time so it was the coffee bar this day and i mean you know the coffee bar and that's what i got so yeah so here it is the next day and i am ready to greet the day and get this kitchen purged So usually I clean the kitchen up before I go to bed at night, but because I knew I would be filming in the kitchen all day today, I decided to just leave it for you guys so that you can see the disaster get tackled. I'm going to give you guys some sub love. If you have not subscribed to my channel, guys, I would love for you to join the crew. I definitely put a lot into making these videos because I love the motivation and I love to bring you that motivation. So make sure that you hit that red button and you subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on your post notification bell so that you will not miss a video. you that white
wiping down these cabinets is a must do and every time I look it's something on them I always say I don't think that I would like a white kitchen because I think the cabinets are so hard to keep clean but honestly dark cabinets are just as hard to keep clean as well comment down below what do you prefer white cabinets or dark cabinets I want to hold you Okay, really quick, on my Instagram page, I have put up a um, reel of Mrs. Myers versus Method. Which one you going with? Put it in the comments below. Which cleaning product do you prefer, Method or Mrs. Myers? If I'm giving my honest opinion, I'm in love with Mrs. Myers' um, Especially the fall scents. I'm in love with the fall scents. Um, but Method is my baby. And I usually turn to Method, especially for like the anti back. I usually turn to Method um, for like the deeper cleans. And Mrs. Myers for me is more like a wipe down because I'm really using it for the scent. It still does the job, but I'm really using it for the scent. So um, for the most part, Method is what I go to for deeper cleans. And you'll find that I clean like the bathrooms and like the heavy degrees areas more so. Yes. Okay, one second. Um, I turn to Method for the, the deeper clean. So like bathrooms, really heavy degrees areas, I go for Method. And then like with my normal daily day-to-day -day wipe downs, I go with um, Mrs. Myers. All of this stuff can be found on Grove, all of the cleaning products. So if you want to... Uh, try them out. I would definitely say try Grove and if you use the code that's in my description box Then you will get something off or you'll get free items. So check them out. I love Grove um, Now again because we had like a little spat during the pandemic because I wasn't getting my stuff, but um It's worth it for sure um, So yeah method for really heavy cleans mrs. Myers for daily wipe down. So that's my take on it back to cleaning As you see, I'm washing the dishes and minding my business. And then Babe walked in. He told me that the smoothie place didn't have the smoothie I wanted. And this is the look I gave him. <laughs> but he was playing. So he actually bought it in there to me. Which you will see me get happy here. <laughs> because they had my smoothie. tedious like I really have to figure out what's going on with my dishwasher because it does not dry the dishes and this is like a whole nother hour of me doing this it's not really an hour but you know it just takes a lot of time to dry each dish because the dishwasher didn't do its job like you got one job bro one job Initially, I just put everything in its original place. Although I plan on changing the drawers and the cabinets around, I thought, you know what, let me at least get everything to where it's supposed to go so that as I work cabinet by cabinet, I'm not just stuck with clutter all over the counters. I'll have the counter space to use because, you know, I'm already limited on counter space, so like, no need to just have extra clutter. I felt your heart beat, felt your mouth read.
too much for you to call me. Just call me fiance. <laughs> kid <laughs> I have to spill something now look but I was not about to go change my clothes so we got to make it do what it do make it work and get back to work Because 90s R&B is lit like I love it like it's nothing like it they need to bring it on back if it don't feel like the 90s I do not want it and that's on everything understand it is the music video choreography for me <laughs> just as relaxing as somebody massaging my head like I don't know what it is about this part of cleaning but it's my absolute favorite onto the counter but I honestly just don't have the time for all of this so let me see if my magic works I knew that mom magic work perfect okay now that I got the countertops clean it's time to just organize some of these drawers because honestly it's not going to stay clean unless we declutter and organize the drawers so I'm starting with this at one point this was my favorite drawer but i'm actually about to change it yeah when organizing i like to start one section at a time so i'm starting with the kids serving drawer this was all the stuff that was in there at one point it was organized but that system doesn't work so i'm creating a new system first starting with this six section container that i got from 
the container store it has six different sections for me to be able to organize their food pens as you see here um, I can do it by color I can do it by theme which is what I went with or anything but just to organize it so that it works better than it worked when we had them in the drawer <laughs> And just like when you're decorating, when you're organizing, you want to play around with the bin, see what fits, see what how you like it to look, like the aesthetics of it all. So at first I was going with the cupcake um, holders in the sides, but I realized that I actually needed that space for some of the other smaller accessories. So you will see me change it out as I continue to organize. Just like that we're done and on to the next acrylic container so I've actually had this one for some time I picked it up at like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx but I was trying to figure out what to do with the sandwich cutter so I was going to try out this system but it doesn't seem like it's going to work very much eventually I gave that up and moved on to the next container so I thought it would be cute or sufficient to store the cupcake holders in this long and narrow container um, and it it was cute to me it worked fine I left it like that for a while but then I eventually changed it out which you will see coming up Now the goal was to try to get all of these containers to somehow, some way, form and shape and fit into this drawer, but I was quickly learning that that was not going to work out, so I had to figure out what systems work best because they're not all going to fit in here together. Moving on to the kids utensil holder. I've had this thing for years guys. This is a complete example of shop your home because I was going to change it out to clear but I'm like why does it matter? It's fine as is so I'm just giving it a little rinse down and then I'm going to go ahead and put their utensils back into this and see if this fits in the drawer. into the drawer I want to take everything out give the drawer a good cleaning and then put everything back in cuz look just look at that to put everything back in so I like to keep my cutting mats um, below my silverware comment down below do you use certain cutting mats for certain things like I have one for meats one for fruits one for other things to cut like do you guys do that too I 
decided to put the sandwich cutters in this drawer because it's just a little deeper so I thought that they fit perfect at the top of the utensil tray and just like that we have purged and was able to condense down to one utensil drawer so light bulb I have an idea remember I tried to use this for the sandwich cutters it didn't work but looking at the sides and sections I thought it's perfect to put our little sauce jars and all of the kids kitchen utensils so all of the small mini, mini utensils that they use I decided to put in there and it worked like a charm kitchen bandit is on the loose but here I am storing the stainless steel straws in this narrower um, container and then I decided to move on and store the cupcake holders in the container that's much like the other one so I had two of these and um, I like it in here I have so many of these cupcake holders because I used to put them in the kids lunch when I did lunch when they were going to school so I'm just going to store all of the lunch accessories the lunch notes the ice packs and these containers it works perfect so give me something give me something now oh, 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 give me a fix, tell me so here's the thing i'm kind of pulled in two directions because this cabinet i want to put that stuff in that cabinet over there i want to just make this like my whole section from top to bottom so um i want to have my stuff up here I want to have this as my like coffee bar and then this drawer is going to serve as like backstop for coffee or all things like me straws everything that pertains to me and then this down here I'm actually going to be moving all of these over here so this will become like all of my um what are what is it called like the air fryer um appliances right all of the portable appliances that aren't like nailed to the floor so that's what i'm going to use this cabinet for so like everything that is like momish over here um shout out to momish or the key late brand um and then i just want to make this more so like uh kid friendly these two this one more like yeah like kid friendly so like all of these glasses and stuff gotta go all of this stuff just it just gotta go okay and then this cabinet is supposed to be like the kids utensils or like their cups and stuff possibly that that will be staying the same but um yeah we'll see we'll see okay so starting at the bottom we're going to go ahead and take out all of these containers and i'm going to have three sections i'm going to have the section that i'm keeping and then also the section that's trash and then the section that i'm using for my meal prep so i'll be sending those containers to my mom's house so this is a true hoarder moment like why am i keeping this tea can i don't know i just like the packaging so i couldn't make myself get rid of it This bento box is actually Dash lunchbox that he took to school. I love that lunchbox so much. He would not eat school lunch, so I used to have to send hot lunch. And this box keeps lunch hot for about 10 hours, so it was perfect for him to have and have his hot lunch at lunchtime. Meditating and taking time away. Oh, and these, yeah, I love these and got them for a two for one great deal. I know, I know. How many lunch boxes do they need? Not many. This is it, but I really, really love that one too. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. And just like that, it's empty. So now I'm going to add in my small appliances. And live my life off the screen. Taking time to be. Moving on. 
on to what used to be the kids drawer but now I'm going to turn this into my coffee backstock drawer. So the visit to the container store was honestly for this drawer. I knew I wanted specific organizers to create this vision that I had for a coffee backstock drawer. Um, I go to the Nespresso store like once a month or maybe even once every two months and I stock heavy so I knew I needed a space to put all of my additional coffee for um, backstock so I thought that this would be the perfect drawer seeing that my coffee bar is over here. Like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh. I'm on hiatus. Uh oh. Baby, don't check for me. this looks like a lot and it is it is a lot but I honestly do like options and it's not just me it's Dante too um we like different options I don't like my coffee to taste the same every day I like to mix and match I like to put things together and I honestly love all of the Nespresso flavors so I like to keep them on hand it is definitely a luxury that I budget out for on the um, monthly expenses so before I go any further y'all I had to get this door I don't know if it's coming up on camera but baby get this close up y'all see that that's why I don't like white like ew I have to get this and this is where the trash stays so I understand but it had to get done also I had to grab my hand vac I know y'all saw that sugar on the floor that was raw sugar on the floor from this coffee maker um when I was doing the containers but I need to get that up and scrub down this door then we'll get back to organizing cabinets section is perfect now on to this top cabinet now a new female's cute but are they even real bad jealousy i think it's jealousy but hell with it still a good melody or maybe i got problems So 
here I am trying to get the shelf out to readjust it because I needed it proportioned differently for the things that I was storing here. Um, it's like this clear clip thing that I was struggling with getting out, but I finally got it out and was able to get the shelf out. If only you could see me now. If only you could tell. Boom, there's my little section perfectly done. While I'm up here, I said, let me just go ahead and tackle what's on top of this freezer. This is served as like a catch all for all like storage things that I'm not using. So I said I needed to clean this out and also use these two cabinets that's up here to store like items or decor that I'm not using. overwhelm you with too much so I'm going to tidy the kitchen back up just a bit and then we will pick the rest of this up in my next video so make sure that you have your post notification bell turned on so that you won't miss the next set of cabinets as well as the big reveal when I walk you through how I use all of my acrylic bins in my kitchen If you have made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate you. And if you've made it this far in the video and that subscribe button still red, just go ahead, hit the button because you know I want you to and you know you want to. We family now. Hit the button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.